Do you know that water covers 70% of Earth's surface? Water is the source of all life. Besides acting as a habitat for marine life and even the source of satiation for living organisms in the vicinity of lakes, ponds, streams and rivers, water also plays an important role in preserving planet Earth through the water cycle, like the rain, carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle. Moreover, only 2.5 out of the 70% of water are fresh water suitable for living consumption. That's the water we use for drinking. The big problem now is that water all around the Earth is being polluted. Humans often take water for granted, treating it as the endpoint for all biological and technological waste. The unnerving end result from said predicament is the loss of marine habitat and consequently life due to the polluted water. However, members of the general public regard news and scientific reports on the technical data collected by researchers as false alarms. Project Lily aims to involve the public directly in the process of the data acquisition to build up a common awareness through involvement. Our proposition is to create a crowdsourcing network consisting of secondary school students for the purpose of environmental data collection. This is our initiative. This is Project Lily. Project Lily is not just a simple product. It is a huge stepping stone for mankind to not only salvage our environment, but also to educate the young leaders of the future. The project consists of three main parts. A boy with environmental sensors fitted to it, which we call the Lily. A Windows 8.1 app and a Windows Phone app. We plan to kickstart this project by first organizing a mini competition among secondary school students to evaluate its effectiveness. The Project Lily app will provide simple yet conducive step-by-step -step tutorials on how students can assemble their very own Lily. The Lily is not able to float by itself, but instead, several fitting holes are made so that uh, bottles may be attached to it. The position of the holes are not fixed, giving the users the freedom to customize their own Lily. Once assembled, the user can simply plug their Windows phone onto the boy and sync it with the hardware via Bluetooth. The Lily can then collect information about the water quality, such as temperature and turbidity, and pass along with its GPS coordinate to the cloud server like OneDrive or Windows Azure. The user may also choose to control the Lily's movement remotely by using another Windows 8.1 device through the SAM application. For the body design of the Lily, we focus on making use of recyclable materials like empty used plastic bottles and containers. Freedom of choice is given on what materials the participants choose to use. We decide to make use of an ice cream container as the main body. It contains the motors and the hardware component as you can see over here. It will contain the motor and the hardware component. To make the water Lily on water, we attach some water to the side. Uh, the attachment is done by using a bottle holder, like this one over here. And the uh, bottle holder is uh, specially fashioned using a 3D printer and the design uh, prevents the body of the lily from touching the water. So the overall design encompasses the body and the flotation device made by any recyclable material of your choice. Electronic hardware of the lily can be subdivided into four main parts. The microprocessor, the sensor, the power source, and the motors. The brain is the Arduino Uno. It is cheap, simple to program, and there are plenty of open source codes and libraries available all over the internet. A Bluetooth module is used for the communication between the Arduino Uno and the docked Windows phone. This is for the purpose of obtaining data from the sensors and to operate the motors. At the moment, the sensors of the Lily include a temperature sensor, a water visibility sensor, and an ambient light sensor. Temperature and water visibility are two vital parameters to assess water quality. The ambient light sensor, on the other hand, collects data on the lighting conditions of water sources. Through this, we can determine if it is suitable to implement small solar-powered systems for the Lily in different countries. Moving on to the power supply and the motor, currently we are using a 7.4V lithium polymer battery with a capacity of 900mAh. This powers the Arduino Uno and the motors. There are two motors which are set to run at 40% of their maximum capacity. If the motors are run continuously, 
the battery will last for a solid period of 70 minutes. This is enough to cover a large area distance of water. Project Lily will be a giant leap for mankind to provide a stable environmental awareness the world needs while educating the younger generation to develop a common awareness and to familiarize with up-to-date technologies.